My name is David Cobb with Move to Amend. The talk that I give is called Challenging Corporate Rule, Creating Democracy, because we know that the huge corporations are actually exercising power and controlling us today, and it's going to take a mass movement of ordinary people to put the corporation in its appropriate subordinate role in society. So I think it's really important to recognize that Move to Mend is not against the concept of, quote, corporate personhood writ large. We think corporations should be held accountable for laws that say no corporation or no person shall do this, that, or the other thing. We believe corporations should be able to sue or be sued under law. We don't think that corporations should be treated as if they are persons with constitutional rights. Because if you're claiming a constitutional right as a human being, what you're claiming is some law, local, county, state, or federal law, is infringing upon your inherent and alienable human rights. That means that you can speak or not speak as you see fit. You can worship or not worship as you see fit. Those are profoundly important human rights. But corporations are artificial entities created under law. They don't have any inherent and alienable rights. They are merely creations of the state. That's all. The best way to hold them accountable is to build a mass movement that actually is able to use the tools that are already in existence. We could use the corporate charter revocation process. Uh, we could uh, elect new people to office. We should be able to write new campaign finance laws to have pure publicly funded elections. And let's be honest, we should stop incentivizing exploitation and oppression. One of the reasons that we're seeing the police departments running amok in this society is not not because the police officers themselves are individually inherently defective, it's because we've created a private prison system that we incentivize locking people up. It's part of the reason we have an immigration policy uh, where detention centers are now actually corporatized and privatized. Uh, you know, we're literally incentivizing exploitation and oppression, and we've actually got to restructure society. Move to Men began with 12 people in a living room. Today we're over 400,000 and getting larger, stronger, and better organized every day. So I want to encourage you to go to the website, www.movetoamend.org, and sign up. Or call us on the telephone, 707-269-0984, and talk to a living, breathing human being. The other thing that you can do is start talking to your own family members and friends and neighbors about this concept. Use Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and other social media. You know, one of the things that's so important is that we're living in a moment in time where the ruling elite's control over information is actually disintegrating. We need to talk to each other using every medium that we have have available and that means all of those different things and more it means ordinary conversations with people and it means letters to the editor it means calling into talk radio it means voting and it means engaging in nonviolent civil disobedience we say at the same way that the great civil rights movement did get in where you fit in and wherever you fit in move to men's got a place for you peace